statement of the theorem if gamma is piecewise smooth and f from a b to c is continuous then integral of a to b of t gamma equal to integral a to b f of t into gamma dash of t dt that is we already discuss the riemann integral riemann stages integral of a continuous function f with respect to a bounded variation gamma over a interval a b that is integral a to b f t gamma equal to that's i that is the integral riemann stages integral and we already write it as integral a to b f of t d gamma of t so in real case it can be written as integral a to b f of t d gamma of t means gamma of t to derivative gamma dash of t dt so we have to show that these two are equal in real case these two are equal we have here we have to prove that integral a to b of t gamma equal to integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt that is a complex integral in a real formula a real analysis le integration or about properties and the formulas and the power apply that the formulas apply that the complex place le integration she am button as in a result on a theorem so we suppose that to prove this we suppose that gamma is smooth and gamma can be represented as a a real part plus i in the, sorry gamma r plus i in the gamma i where gamma r is the real part of gamma and the gamma is the imaginary part of the gamma also we suppose that actually gamma is a function from a b to c here we consider gamma of a b is a subset of r because it is an integral and we are we are integrating a b is a subset of r a b is a closed interval in r set of real numbers we integrating over a b and uh, actually it is uh, in the terms of a variable t we take it as or we are given it as a real integral so in this case in this integration case we take gamma of a b is a subset of r so you take a partition p equal to t naught that's equal to a less than t1 less than t2 etc less than tn where it is b it is a partition of closed interval a b and we take an epsilon greater than zero and delta greater than zero such that norm of p is less than delta the norm of the partition p is less than delta also we, we have f is a continuous function on a b now by the previous theorem if all these conditions are satisfied then there exists a complex number i such that modulus of i minus sigma k equal to 1 to m i don't know what i'm going to end on at the level the text still a proof will end on other one done anyway it is a variable 1 to n 1 to m there is no problem f of tau k into gamma of t k minus gamma of t k minus 1 is less than epsilon we get the result from the previous theorem just previous theorem theorem 1.4 i think so we have this result where i equal to i in a number of par near another other than a remand still just in real or in real a to b f d gamma or in real a to b f of t d gamma of t okay so we substitute i equal to this value in this inequality we get all us of india a to b f d gamma minus sigma k equal to 1 to n f of tau k into gamma of tau t k minus gamma of t k minus 1 is less than actually it is less than epsilon 
and this epsilon is less than epsilon by 2 so here we write epsilon by 2 because we will get another inequality like this then we have to we will have to add this so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 we get epsilon for this we take epsilon by 2 anyway it is less than a positive quantity we call it as epsilon by 2 now take it as, as uh, equation number 1 and now we apply the mean value theorem for uh, derivatives uh, for the function gamma in the interval tk minus 1 tk that is we know that the mean value theorem that is if f is continuous and f is differentiable then there exists a c in open interval a b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so we apply this theorem in gamma so we can write it as there, is, there exists a tau k belongs to tk minus 1 tk such that f dash sorry for gamma gamma dash tau k equal to gamma of tau k minus gamma of tau k tau alla t gamma of tk minus gamma of tk minus 1 divided by tk minus tk minus 1 Therefore, we get the numerator on the right side as gamma of tk minus gamma of tk minus 1 equal to gamma dash tau k into tk minus tk minus 1. We substitute this in the sum. This sum that is gamma of tk minus gamma of tk minus k. substitute here gamma dash of tau k into tk minus tk minus 1 substitute that is we have the sum sigma k equal to 1 to n f of tau k into gamma of tk minus gamma of tk minus 1 equal to sigma k equal to 1 to n f of tau k e e difference in the power we substitute gamma dash of tau k into tk minus tk minus 1 from the mean value theorem so we get these two sums are equal now we take the inequality 1 we may we made some rearrangement this uh, inequality also complete derivative in the variable in the formula that is the this bracket in the this sum in the bottom we will get this sum in the bottom and 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 this sum in the bottom we can apply we can only apply the mean value theorem in the real case also mean value theorem real case in the real case mean value theorem in the complex case in the mean value theorem in the result in the result नमले गामा ऑफ ए बी सबसेट ऑफ आर इन्दर इट्टे टन्दे न देने में अंडी टाने गामा ऑफ ए बी आर इन्दर सबसेट टानो इन्दर फर्स्ट नमले आसिम जेड अदो उन्दा आना नमक मेन वैल्यू थियरम फॉर डेरिवेटिव अप्लाई आम बट्टी ए टोलो सो द इनिक्वालिटी वन बिकम्स मॉडल्स ऑफ इंडिया ले टू बी कंप्लीट d of gamma of t means gamma dash of t dt minus sigma k equal to 1 to n f of tau k into gamma dash of tau k into tk minus tk minus 1 that is less than epsilon by 2 ok this is the reason gamma of a b is a subset of r Therefore, we can write in the a to b f of f f of t d gamma of t in the form of in the a to b f of t into gamma dash of t dt, and also we can apply the mean value theorem because it is the uh, we can apply mean value theorem in the real case only. Now 
we consider modulus of integral a to b f t gamma minus integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt these are equal to the prove so we consider the modulus modulus is 0 and prove it that's equal to integral a to b modulus of integral a to b f t gamma minus integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt then whatever you term add in no subtract in so number of someone add in the sigma k equal to 1 to n f of to k into gamma of t k minus gamma of t k minus 1 some add you know there is some subtract about there is some subtract in the power of as a minority equal I to la or to some number is on a party that in either name is subtract in the environment right say little other not equal I'd love it term and down the term is subtracting minus sigma k equal to 1 to m f of to k into gamma dash of t k into t k minus t k minus 1 ok இனி அம்மலும் நான் ரியாரேஞ்சியா நமுக்கு ரண்டு இனி equality சும்பு கட்டிட்டுந்த epsilon by 2 less than epsilon by 2 வருந்து அது நான் செரிச்சி இப்பிராக்கட்டி நான் ரியாரேஞ்சியா வேது இந்தில் a to b f t காமையும் first sum ஒருமிச்சியுது அது போல next minus integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt second sum will be chayda up order version the law first sum here is plus so now come or term add here subtract here now like e term now come subtract here and they will eat them add here ok then integral a to b f t gamma in sigma k equal to 1 to n f of to k gamma of t k minus gamma of t k minus 1 plus or minus ok that ok in here minus on a for e plus or that ok so that's equal to integral modulus of integral a to b f t gamma minus sigma k equal to 1 to n f of to k into gamma of t k minus gamma of t k minus 1 add to the minus integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt plus sigma k equal to 1 to n f of to k gamma dash of t k into t k minus t k minus 1 any split here triangle inequality apply up that is less than or equal to less than or equal to modulus of integral a to b f t gamma minus sigma k equal to 1 to n f of to k into gamma of t k minus gamma of t k minus 1 plus plus second term sigma k equal to 1 to n f of to k gamma dash of to k into t k minus t k minus 1 minus in the way to be f of t gamma dash of t dt so modulus on a boy second modulus it is when it is here that a minus p mode a minus p in the market mode b minus in the rhythm so first inequality which it is in the less than epsilon by two on a second inequality which it is it is here the other key them and the term less than epsilon by two not to so we get it is less than epsilon by two plus epsilon by two that's equal to epsilon that is left side to the no integral a to b f t gamma minus integral a to b f of t f of t gamma dash of t dt is less than epsilon 
since epsilon is arbitrary as epsilon tends to 0 this modulus tends to 0 that is modulus tends to 0 means mod a 0 on angle f and only if a equal to 0 that is integral a to b f d gamma minus integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt equal to 0 that implies integral a to b f t gamma equal to integral a to b f of t gamma dash of t dt that is the proof of the theorem or complex integral ne, real integral in the term like convert in a as an example we can consider we consider a gamma from integral 0 to 2 pi to c defined as gamma of t equal to e raised to it that is the unit circle on at the center that is mod gamma equal to 1 and 2 at the center 0 0 and the radius 1 at the unit circle and equation on the and we define f of z as 1 by z and z not equal to 0. So f of z equal to 1 by z, z not equal to 0. So it is, it is a continuous function. And in the a to b, f of z d z ganan. I'm keep here up player. That is, now karam in the a to b, f d gamma equal to in the a to b, f of t, gamma dash of t, dt. And uh, this in the is also denoted by in the a to b, that is, it is the integration of f with respect to gamma over a b. And it is also denoted as in the l over gamma f d if f is a function of z then f d z that is uh, complex line integral in integral over gamma f d z 